400 jobs could be on the way to Teesside after a factory won a multi-million pound contract to build parts for wind turbines. TAG Energy Solutions has secured a £20 million funding package for its plant at Haverton Hill in Billingham. The former shipyard will make parts for offshore wind turbines to generate carbon-free power in the North Sea. Claire Wilson reports. After a time of uncertainty, there's a new future of hope on Teesside. Last year, the former shipyard at Haverton Hill in Billingham lost a multi-million pound contract to build an oil rig, and with it, hundreds of jobs. Now, a 20 million pound investment into wind turbines has changed the purpose of the yard. It's been a long and torturous period for lots of people, but we've succeeded. There'll be 100 uh, permanent jobs within the factory when it's fully up and running, but some of the projects are very big, and when we get a large project in to build lots of substructures, that will probably fluctuate up to another 300 jobs on top of that. So a baseline of jobs of 100, but going up and down to set of 400 jobs. I think offshore wind is something that we all need to be very interested in because uh, firstly the, there's a lot of work, there's 45 million tonnes of steel that has to go into the North Sea over the next 15-20 uh, years uh, and that equates to about 9,000 black coal towers that are going to sit out there so that's a lot of work and you know, we need to make sure that the North East of England has a fair share of that. The wind turbine factory is a welcome green addition to the region, which is quickly becoming an international centre for renewable energy. Only yesterday, Liberty Electric Cars promised the creation of more than 500 jobs at its plant in Cramlington. Meanwhile, electronics firm Hitachi are waiting for a decision from the government to build high-speed trains in Newton Aycliffe, which will create hundreds of jobs for the area. So it seems the green revolution is leading the way for the region's industries. I think it's a real opportunity for the North East to become a centre of excellence. You know, the work going on up in Blythe at Narek, the clipper activity going on in Newcastle, you have JDR cables going on in, in Hartlepool. You know, there's an opportunity for developers to come here and effectively get their whole project in this region. So I think it's perfect, yes. The factory will be ready for business in June next year. Industry that's proving vital for our future economy. And today, more good news has been announced for the expansion of the renewable energy business on Teesside. 400 jobs are to be created at a former shipyard near Billingham. The yard will make parts for offshore wind turbines. Our business correspondent, Ian Reeve, reports. It's 40 years since ships were sent down these slipways and out to sea. The yard at Haverton Hill on Teesside was Furness Shipbuilders and then Swan Hunter. The ill-fated Derbyshire was built here before breaking up in the South China Seas. But a new industry is now coming, building the sections that wind turbines out at sea will sit on. It's a part of the industry that um, probably not being overlooked but certainly not being addressed as, uh, as much as it should be, which is everything that sits in uh, possibly 60 metres of water, uh, from the seabed up to the actual uh, technical part of the actual wind turbine. 400 jobs will be created in a new £25 million factory. Management here sure that wind is an energy source of the future and holds out the prospect of jobs and profits. There's 45 million tonnes of steel to be put into the North Sea to uh, support these wind turbines and I try to equate that to uh, the, the 9,000 Blackpool towers to put in the North Sea which is you know, quite a bit of uh, structural work to be putting out there. The skills to build turbine components are still on Teesside, says the company, and this could be at the very centre of a new industry to rival that of the past. Now, nothing illustrates better the scale of the industry that was once here than this, the yard's toilets. Room for hundreds of men on their breaks from shipbuilding. And in spite of a few blips in the wind power industry, a lack of anticipated demand for turbines, for instance, the company here is sure that this place will soon be packed once again. Ian Reeve, BBC Look North, Haverton Hill.